What's going on? This is Magic Mitch, the food adventurer, and I gotta say right now, strap yourself in because in this food adventure, not only am I taking on a tasty 50 ounce ribeye steak platter challenge, and you'll see exactly what I mean once you get a close up of this bad boy, but I'm also going to be doing something a little different in this steak challenge by making a slight adjustment to my typical steak challenge strategy to see if it would give me an edge, as I would also be attempting to set a new record for this steak challenge as well. Now, Mitch is using a completely different strategy. What is it? Did he cut it all up before? He didn't learn it on foodchallenges.com, that's for damn sure. <laughs> if you've been following along on this entire trip, this is day 30, challenge number 19 of this tour across the UK and Europe. And for this battle at hand, I'm at Skylark Sports Bar, taking on their 50 ounce steak challenge. Now with this challenge, you have a huge 50 ounce ribeye steak, but that's not the only thing that's massive in this challenge because you also have 15 big ol' honkin' onion rings. I mean, look at those monsters. Then along with that, you also have some tomatoes, mushroom slices, a salad, some coleslaw, and you also have two pounds of chips, which you can probably guess, I was just so thrilled to see that. <laughs> but anyways, if you're able to complete the challenge within the 50 minute time limit, you get the 50 British pound meal for free, a free shirt, and your picture up on their wall of fame. Now as far as that small tweak for the steak challenge I wanted to try, I would still right out of the gate take down that steak first, but this time, as you probably could already see, I focused more time early on, slicing and dicing through a lot of that steak challenge while it was still piping hot. And my thought process was, if I can cut up most of this first, then just focus solely on eating the steak, not have to be thinking about anything else, I might be able to eat this thing faster. Now there are a few key factors to this new strategy. And the first one would be how hot and juicy this fine looking piece of meat would be. Because if the steak wasn't that hot right out of the gate when it came out of the kitchen, it probably wouldn't keep warm after cutting most of it up. And that would make it harder to eat, which in turn would take more time to finish and it wouldn't be ideal for this new strategy. But in this case, the ribeye steak came out piping hot, which was ideal for this strategy. And another key component to this would be having a sharp knife. And I know you're probably thinking, uh, yeah, that's pretty obvious. Yeah, I know. And I used to assume that every restaurant would have sharp knives, but uh, well, just from my experience, that isn't always the case. So I do make sure beforehand I have a pretty sharp knife to use at my disposal. In some cases, if I have to, I'll politely ask if I could get a sharper knife instead of the one that was given to me. Because I don't want to spend that much time slicing and dicing through the steak, which if you're a cleaner eater like I am, you do tend to spend extra time cutting up the steak itself. And I'll be completely honest. I went into this not knowing if this new steak challenge strategy would make complete sense. But you know what? It was just a theory of sorts I wanted to try out. He's at 8.53. And like all theories, you test it out, see how it goes, and then you learn from that experience. And I figured it could only go two ways. I'd find out that I'm a genius in finding out this new tactic I could use in the future, or I'm just some ridiculous buffoon. But if there was an advantage to be gained here, it could help me finish this challenge sooner, and I'm not exactly proud of this, but there was a crowd watching, and they wanted to see me take a shot at the new record, which was held by Randy Santel with a time of 28 minutes and 3 seconds, and I'm not exactly proud of it, but uh, I did give in to peer pressure here. Go on, me! Go on, me! So I figured, alright, let's give this a shot, let's try this new strategy, and see what I could do. And also, just as a side note, something else I would be doing during this challenge would be using the tomatoes and the mushrooms with bigger pieces of steak, as the moisture and the texture does help get the steak down a little faster without the use of my drinks. That's just something I found to be effective in my experience. Now overall, the circumstances did end up playing well into my new strategy, as I found myself getting into a rhythm, going at a pretty good pace, a little faster than I'm used to, taking bite after bite, and not spending a whole lot of time chewing. So things were feeling pretty good, especially when I was vibing out to some songs by my girl Kesha. Now before we get into my thoughts on this food challenge, it's time for a question of the day. And this one is, do you ever wear the shirts that you've worn? And the answer is, well, it depends. Now first off, while on tour, yeah, I typically wear those. But once I'm back home, there's very rarely any shirts that I wear. There's only a select few, and those are usually if they're duplicates. But there is one sweatshirt I'll wear occasionally, just because it's a ridiculous shirt, I love it. But generally speaking, I've got enough shirts already, so I don't need to wear out the unique ones that I've acquired, especially since they represent a memory of sorts of a particular part of my food adventuring career. So I'd like to keep those in as good condition as I can. 
As for what I'll do with those in the future, I have no idea. But I can assure you, I'm definitely not making a food challenge quilt because that's just way too cliche for me. So now as far as my thoughts go on this challenge, in terms of the setup, I'm giving this one a thumbs up. First off, you already know, it's got the gold standard, which I love to see, which is the free meal, the free shirt, and your picture up on their wall of fame for completing the challenge. Also, for what it's worth, I do like when challenges have a little bit of a theme to them. Like in this case with the 50s, I don't know what it is, but I just kind of like when I see that for the price, the amount of steak, and the time limit. Also, I very much appreciate the fact that there's a wide variety of items to the steak challenge. And with how well the steak platter is presented, you can tell that they take pride in their challenge. And as for the taste, I mean, this was a dead giveaway. I'm giving this one a thumbs up, and let's not kid ourselves here. At first glance, you knew immediately that this was going to be a great tasting steak challenge. When you get that nice, juicy, flavorful steak, you know it's just going to be an absolute party on the palate. And as for the other items, the salad, mushrooms, tomatoes, all that was fresh and delicious as well, and very much welcome to my diet at this point. Also the creaminess of the coleslaw, oh yeah, that was more than welcome. And of course, chips are chips. And as for the onion rings, oh my goodness, those things had an epic crunch tool. And with a crunch like that, there's no possible way that these were going to be anything less than fantastic. And with that being said, while you continue to watch me go for this ribeye steak platter challenge record, why not take a few seconds to leave a little magic of your own by liking the video and leaving a comment down below so we can keep the conversation going. And just a little FYI, there's some fun shenanigans at the end of the video which I think you'll thoroughly enjoy. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next food adventure. I thought he was going to do it in 28 or so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he'll do it in 24 or 50. What's the Kesha for getting the last three and a half minutes of that challenge. Appreciate it. Go, Mitch. The shape in the floor, Teddy. Where's that? Where's he going? Let's see who's talking about. Oh, let's see who's talking. Let's see who's talking. Let's see who's talking. Come on, come on. Show the people what they want. <laughs>